Hello everyone! Today I am reviewing this awesome vampire kitchen playset. It's Monster Family of Draculaura. I got this in B&M and it was priced as £20 but we actually managed to get it for 10 Can you believe it? So if anyone wants this set and you live in the UK, go to B&M. On the shelves they're priced as 20 quid, but when you go through the till they're 10 So they do have tons in the one we went to. I like the artwork on there. It's got that other, that other girl, Vangelica. I haven't kept up with the Ghoul Squad series. Um, but I've heard that she's the adopted daughter of Dracula, apparently. The pictures are quite cool. I watched the films and I watched the one with Abby in it, but that was about it. Because, I don't know, Abby wasn't the same. I think it was voiced by somebody else. She was voiced by somebody else, which kind of bummed me out. I wanted like her to be the same. It says, Monster High, everyone is welcome. <laughs> Dracula has a full plate now that he has. He and Dracula have taken Fangelica under their wings. One place the grow growing family loves to fang out in the kitchen where they bond while wrapping, whipping up tasty bites from traditional to Drac's fave vegetarian. <laughs> there we go. Some pictures on the back and then it's got other sets you can get Claudine and her siblings, Laguna and her siblings and Fangelica which is this one here um, and I'm so excited to open it it's like a cool kitchen play set and of course it comes with Dracula and Dracula so I'm just going to get out of the packaging and we'll have a closer look oh by the way I like the this is one thing I do like about this. It's also, it's got the cobwebs at the top, but I like these bits in the corners. I think that looks quite cool. For, you know, reboot packaging, it's actually not too bad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get them out the box, won't be a mate. So here it is out of the box. That took quite a long time. Um, I think I'll start with the play set, to be honest. I've got Dracula on a chair, because she does have bended legs. Um, he has this apron on, which stops him sitting down, but I'll just move Dracula for a moment so you come it comes with these two chairs and it's pretty cool it looks like fire at the back to me and it like looks a little bit studded as well it's pretty cool and then it's like all cushioned here and it's got like hearts on it and then at the side it's got a bat with spider webs there's a skullet with swirls and then another bat that side that looks like the skullet again, but it's not been outlined as much. It's got bats and hearts, a heart with fangs on there. And it looks like it's got like claw feet, kind of. It's pretty cool. I like the chairs. I'll sit Dracula back on that one for now. Oops. There we go. Set her there. I'll show you the dolls in a second. I think we'll save the dolls till last because they are beautiful. I'll put him down for a second because he's kind of top heavy. So Dracula was holding this book and it's really cool. I love it. It's uh, a little cookbook and it's got like uh, a little cupcake with a skelet on the top and a spoon and a cobweb in the corner. It looks really fancy. And then here's the back of the book. It's got a tentacle with a cake and a fork and a cracked egg and it's got a little bit of squiggly right in there. I just love the way it's detailed and it's all blue. Oops, sorry about that. And then inside, here we go. So it has squiggly bits to signify right in again and it's got like a cauldron with stuff going in it. Cobwebs in the corner. Another cauldron there and it's really cool. I really like the book, it's awesome and you go, there it is closed. See the tentacle from the top on oh, the pages that kind of look a bit like teeth at the side, maybe. Pretty cool. I like the book. I just wish they'd coloured it in a little more. Um, and then here's the other accessories. So we have a bowl which has got cobwebs all over it. It's all orange and it kind of looks like worms. <laughs> kind of creepy. Well, worms with eyeballs on the end, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. It doesn't look very appetising anyway, but it's well detailed. And you can peg it onto the bits where there's pegs because it has a hole in the bottom. It has this here, which looks like eggs. Well, that looks like an egg, and the others look like they've been cracked. 
That one kind of looks a bit like a scary face. That one looks like she's got something coming out of it. <laughs> they look kind of creepy. I think the girls have got something very similar from Barbie. But it's white and it's just got normal looking eggs on it. But they look kind of creepy, if you can see. And then this is a little mixer. I don't know if it's... Oh, you can spin it around like that. It's really cool. It looks like a coffin on top with cobwebs. And on the very top it's got a skelet on the green bit. The side it's got like spider web details. The bottom of it looks the same. And I don't know if it moves at all. I don't know. It's got a hand on it as well. And you can take this plastic piece off if you want. The bowl. It's, it's really cool. I like it. Oh, it does lift up a little bit. Yeah, it does, I think. Yeah, a little. It can lift back slightly, which is cool to get the bowl out. I really like the little mixer, it's cool. And then over here you have a frying pan and it's like an oval shape. It's got a bone on the handle and a splattered green egg inside it. It's got cobweb details on it and dripping blood maybe. Of course it is all purple, sadly. Better if it had like a bit more colour to it. These have a little more colour. So this one has, this one's silver. It looks like it's got cracks in the side of it. And it has this green goo dripping over the sides. It has a handle of course. And then this one has pink. Kind of looks like it might be a cake. It's got like strawberries on top. With a spider web. It's pink and then it has a tongue coming out the side and then... Drippy bits and hearts, maybe. And then you can lift it up. That's what it looks like inside. I think it's a cake. I could be wrong. But it does have like a... I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a cake. Let me know if you think it's something else. And then here's the actual... Oh, you also get... I forgot about this. Oven glove. And it's got stitches on it. Looks a bit like a Frankie one. <laughs> And then this one is a, I guess it's like a spatula, and it's got like a bony hand on it, and a bone at the top. And then this is a rolling pin. It's very fiddly to try and get hold of these, and they have like, what do they have at the ends on these ones? Let's try and get this off. Oh, bat wings on the ends. There we go. They do obviously all come off, but you can hang on. They come hanging on there. Whoops. Oh, I'll do it in a minute and then inside the oven we have a tray of oh no is it elastic it's elastic banded hold on a sec sorry about that I didn't realize it was elasticated in there and then here's the little tray and it's got like something that looks a bit like an octopus a gingerbread man a bat and a heart with stitches and it's got swirly bits at the side it's just the back of it and then the freezer had some ice creams in it with like a skull head and a cone on both of them and they can get them to hold them because they have the little thing in the side and then here's the little thing they were in. It's got like bones on the sides of it. Lots of bones and it's all purple. So let's show you the actual play set now. I think that's all the accessories. Oh, other than this, if you want to call this an accessory as well, the little la chandelier, which has a bat face at the top and a hook there and then old oh, candles coming up and it's got like a spider there bats and spiders all the way around and swirly details it's really cool everything's so detailed in this set and then here's the bit this is the oven section also i'll show you this first so here's the way it looks it's kind of crooked at the top and it has a skelet face on there the back of it has all this cool spider web detail and even here which I'm surprised they did all this because you can't even see this part. And it's got a skelet in the middle. It's really cool. And it's got a bat head there. And then, oh, sorry, the oven shelf fell out. So it's got a bat with heart and fangs, spider webs. And then inside, you can put stuff up there, which is pretty cool. And then you can see the bat of it, back of it with the spider webs. And then you go down and you can see out the window which is really cool. So you can see bats out there and a cat and a very spooky looking 
moon and tree, which I love. And then it's got the heart curtains with stitches and it's got like a, like a brain pie on the window sill with eyeballs with a gravestone and a, um, a bony hand, a uh, Frankie Stein hand and a skeleton. It's really cool and you can see the steam coming off it. And then here's the burners. They're really cool. Oh, a bit of dirt on there. I'm not sure what that is. I have to wipe it off. It's probably dust. And you can stick the things on these little pegs, which is really cool. It's got cobwebs all over it. I really like the way it's, it's done. And then here is the little knobs. And they're all different ways, but they're nothing like creepy or fancy. Um, but the outside of the oven has all these little details, like cobwebs and things on it. And then these shelves also have pegs on them. And they have cobwebs. You can pull them straight out as well for ease. And also at the back, you also have the cobwebs. I'll slide that back in. And then the door has cobwebs on it, even in the corner. I love that. I clear bit there. And then you've got hearts and bats and bat wings. And then it's all cobwebby and batty here. And then it's got these cool swirly legs to it, which is really cool. And then this is the other accessory you get with it. So you have like a spider web here holding this up. This is actually elasticated. I might just, I might take that off after maybe, yeah, because it's bending the back slightly. And then this has got a bat head and spider webs and swirly pieces all around here. And then here's the countertop. It's just checkered and it has a gargoyle spitting water out here, which is really cool. Cobwebs at the bottom here. And then the sink looks all, lots of water in there. You can see, and it lifts up, and you can see a mouth garbage disposal. How cool! We go and flip that back for them to wash up, and then this piece here comes out, so you can extend the table so the dolls can like sit at it. They could both like sit either side. We have pulled out like a little table, and it's got like a skillet and a bat on there, and cobwebs, and it looks like a drawer when it's closed up, and it has monster feet at the back there and here all the way around and this bit has uh, cobwebs on it and they look like bones there's that bit there and then inside the freezer so here's the front of the freezer it looks very cool or fridge freezer I guess it's got like a bone on the front and lots of icy bits on the front of it and it's blue and then here's the back it looks very frosty in there and it's got spiders in there and Lots of other treats, creepy looking treats and an eyeball monster. And then here's the bottom, looks like a Yeti in the freezer and eyeballs and all sorts. <laughs> There's lots in there. And it's got like cracks in the freezer as well. It's so cool. So that's all the accessories you get with it. Now let's look at the dolls. Sorry it's taken so long. So here is Dracula. So he has his glasses and his fangs. You can obviously take the glasses off. I'll just lift them up so you can see his face a little better. And then he has very, he had moulded hair and he has like a grey streak down the side. It looks like it's shaved at the side. Okay. He has like a bit of plastic. So he said, oh, you can push it in. Oh, and his glasses are elasticated. I'll probably leave them like that so they don't go missing. And then here's his apron. His apron's really cool. It's got like cobwebs on the purple piece and then... A bony bit there, a bone hand and cobwebs in his pocket, on his pocket. <laughs> and it's like bat, it looks kind of batty. And then he has this little towel on his wrist, which is from Dracula, Draculaura's Creeper Terrier outfit. Um, and you can just slip off this apron, which I will do. Show you the rest of his outfit. So this is what he's wearing. He's wearing a shirt with spiders and swirly details on it with stripes on the sleeves and collar and then he has separate pants and they are shiny very shiny material but they're long which is cool he doesn't have articulated arms but he does have articulated legs and his shoes are have tassels on them and they kind of look a bit like a bit batty shaped things on them yeah bats they have bats on them there you go, if you can see them. But they're just black. They don't look that fancy, <laughs> but they're pretty cool. And then let's have a look at Draculaura. 
Dracula is one of my favourite ghouls, so I'm very happy to have another Draculaura. Even though she's the reboot one. So here she is. Try and straighten her up a bit. So she's got a little bat hairband, a uh, chef hat. So it's got like a little chef hat on top, but it is just a hairband. It's just like not completely solid at the back. And it's got like a heart with bat wings on it. She just have black and pink hair and it's just a little bit choppy at the back, but it does look nice. And then she has green eyeshadow around her eyes and purple eyes. And then she has very bright red lipstick with her red heart on her cheek. And I like her dress. She has like a white collar around the front. It goes all the way around. Oh, the pattern actually goes all the way around the back. I like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, and I love the dress design. I just noticed she's got like a black belt around there, but she has cupcake bats. They're like cupcakes in the middle with bat wings and little bows with hearts. That's a really cool design. I love that. And they've got like, some of them have got like different faces, I think. Have they? Yeah, they do. A couple of them have like different faces to them. And different colours. Yeah, different designs on the cupcakes. And then it has like a swirly bit on there as well. I love that dress. And I love the fact it goes all the way around. That's really cool. And then she has straight arms and articulated knees but they have those weird joints that venus seems to always have and she has the uh gloom beach shoes which i've seen before these look like the same ones i got with the dracula locker actually they might be exactly the same color so they're just pink with bows and they're pretty i like these shoes the first ones had a lot more color in them though i really like these these dolls let me try that glove on one of them won't be a second so here we go. I've got it on his hand so he can put it on. I don't know about her. It probably will fit on her hand but it'll just be a little bit big on her. Um, there's a problem when you sit him down. It shows off his butt. <laughs> he has those pants that show his butt off when he bends over. Um, and he's kind of a bit harder to sit down than she is. He doesn't seem like when I tried to put him on the chair first of all the back came off but it does click straight back in. He just seems a little bit more stiff like he's his uh, legs were quite stiff, but it's all right. There's all the accessories there. I'll just put them back quickly to show you it all together, won't be it, mate? So here we go. I've put everything away, and only Dracula can hold the ice creams. His fingers are too fat, sadly. Well, I couldn't get them on anyway. <laughs> and the only thing I wish was different about this is I wish I had more, like, I wish I had arm articulation, because you can't really pose them cooking with their very straight arms. It's very difficult. And obviously the necks don't move as well. Well, Dracula's doesn't. His is quite good, his neck. It's, her neck is kind of stiff, if you know what I mean. She doesn't seem to be able to bend it as much as, you know, the originals. I do really, really like her outfit, though. I think it's so adorable. And I love the place. It's got so much cool stuff in it. I took the elastic off the, off the chandelier because it was making this thing lean quite a bit. And I put the saucepan up there and the apron I put on there because he can't sit down when he's wearing it and then I put the oven glove up there it's pretty cool it doesn't go on the front of the oven sadly it's like not hasn't got a hole up the top because that's where I would have put it because that's where I kind of keep mine so it stays warm all the oven gloves let me know what you think of this set I think it's awesome I really like it and for £10 I mean it's a bargain seriously it's such a cool set and I actually don't mind all the colours I think it's pretty cool with all these bright colours um, and I don't have many play sets the girls have a lot um, a lot of the play sets I've got I've given to the girls but I actually really like this one not that I didn't like them before but I think it's just because we it's hard to find Monster High now so I actually really like and appreciate the play sets a lot more than I used to well it's having room really to be honest with you but you know we've still got the play sets but they're just in the girls room because they play with them but this one will be staying in my room because I, I love it. It's awesome. And I love the chairs. They're so cool. So, yeah, let me know what you think of it. Like, comment and subscribe. Bye, everyone.